What's going on down there? That boy is a major order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. Here's Addy are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving, but then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Saya and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. We will need a key to open this gate. Hey! Hey! Help me! He's still breathing. I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And hey, I don't you. think he's long for this world. Over, <coughs> Over here! He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long. But we can't just leave him here either. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but... If he can help us, his death won't be in vain. He looks badly... How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I've... I've lost... too much blood. T <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. There's nothing more I can do for him. He is already dead. All I can do is reassure him. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> my children... Tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish. No matter what. I can give no promises. I don't even know if we'll make it out of here alive. Or where my path will take me next. And I can't make a promise that I might not be able to keep. I have to prom- I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Please. <coughs> Please finish me before the cards It's a makeshift find me. blade. I've seen they how they make them by sharpening stolen spoons they against stone. <coughs> a deadly weapon in the right they hand. They suffer. It appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. Kill me. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. If I don't kill him now, the guards will. But not before they make him suffer. I cannot leave him to such a gruesome fate. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. In the face of my own death, I swore to never take another life. Perhaps the guards will show mercy and spare him. I... I I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I have sworn to spare the innocent. I... <coughs> I understand. 
Go. Before they come. We just leave him like that? I can't murder an innocent man. I won't force you to, Kian. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. They have different keys for every four, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards. Ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing. Moving closer. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I... do not know. I thought I did. But I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about... something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. I'll need to pick the lock. Shadow be damned! It broke. The blade worked better as a weapon than a lockpick. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. The stench makes me sick. A broom. Goddess lead his soul to the first mountain. From the right angle, this pillar might pass as a head. A very square and soft head. A filthy head. There he is, up there. Was that him? The keep is surrounded by soldiers. Mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. We got him! I think we got him! It's undamaged, and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. to leave him to that fate. I swore to never kill again, but I'm not sure it can ever be that simple. I must at least fulfill the promise I made to him and bring word to his family. That ought to do the trick. Go on, pick the lock with the arrow. Good job. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. 
The riot won't last forever. Something's going to give. Either the watch kills every last man, or the prisoners tear this place to pieces. If it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. <laughs> I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Valsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Bakim. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. May the Mojo befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren! Let us through right bloody now! Has the Resistance been inside the tower? Not yet. That's where you come in, boy. You're our key to the tower. That tower is a fortress. How in the name of the goddess do you expect me to find a way inside? We'll see. Maybe you'll rise to the occasion, huh? The warden has blocked the gate somehow. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. I could attempt to reason with him, see if he responds to that. Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? I may not be able to stay my anger. He's responsible for many innocent deaths. But if I can convince him to believe me, what choice does he have? I was the Apostle. I was always true to my word. Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. We're running out of time. And this filthy heathen is the only thing between us and freedom. He may treasure his office above his blood. But maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, maybe he'll listen if I threaten his children. All men of his station can be bought. If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed, filthy maggot that he is. He may if not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. Let's forgive her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Elvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. He doesn't look well at all, seeing his world fall to pieces. I almost pity the man. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? It's your word. So disposable you were thrown away at a whim? You will receive your just punishment soon enough. Alvani, but at least my punishment... <coughs> at least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations, and not a... Bill. 
barbarian like yourself. <coughs> My men will be here soon. You won't get away. I no longer have any what use for him. Absolution? A warm embrace? Leave me be. You've proven your point. You're bigger and stronger than me. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. Huh. You were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. Is that why you're breaking me out of here? To find a way into the tower? Well, that's part of it, aye. But not all of it. You're a bloody symbol, boy. Once we've got you on our side, it'll give the boys a big, um, what's it, boost. It will increase morale? Ha! Fat chance of that. There'll always be a bunch of booze and thieving, whoring, cursing him. Immoral... Morale. As in confidence. Spirit. Well, that's it. A boost to the team spirit, innit? You arriving? You'll be the flag bearer. The bloody drummer boy. But getting into that Mojang blasted tower. Aye. That's a big part of it. <laughs>